Hey, it's Jim Alexander with Real Talker. Today I am speaking to uh to my guest who, who's gonna introduce herself and tell us all all about what she's got going on in, in the film industry. Uh hey Shin, how's it going? Hi. Hi guys. Uh, my name is Shin Li. Yeah, I'm really good. Uh, thank you for inviting me here. I'm really happy to come here. Glad to have you. Are you in a library right now? Is this like a virtual <laughs> library? <laughs> yeah, I took a picture when I went to the library. I really love the picture. <laughs> there you go. Looks looks interesting. Looks <laughs> there's a lot to be going on in the background there. Um, so uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, where are you from originally? Uh, you're in Los Angeles right now, is from what yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm living in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm from China. Uh, so my hometown is called Hohat. It's uh, uh, mainly our Mongolian people, Mongolian uh -huh. ethnic people, but I'm a Han ethnic. Yeah. So uh -huh. my my hometown is like um, uh, full of different arts. People are really love dancing, singing songs. Uh, there are many beautiful uh, paintings and uh, very unique dress. The traditional Mongolian uh, clothes. Yeah, that's a pretty beautiful place. And uh, mainly the landscape is grassland. Yeah. Okay. And it sounds very artistic. So that's, that's right up your alley, right? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You so, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a right now. So, so I'm a filmmaker. I yep. mainly is the uh, producing. So I'm a producer, independent mm -hmm. producer. I'm a freelancer. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I got some awards, like, uh, for example, New York uh, International um, Film Award. I got the uh, the best of student film, and that one is a documentary, short documentary. Uh, the, the name is called Paradise, Nature Has No Mercy, but people have. It's mainly talk about, uh, so in the north of California, there is mm -hmm. a town, it's called Paradise. But oh, yeah, in, the one that had the fires, right? Is that the one? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a, oh, yeah. Yeah, that big fire made the, the town is ruined, uh, was ruined. Yeah, so right now it's re rebuilt again. Um, I guess it's much better than a couple of years ago. So I'm just thinking, I, I was in the uh, in a film school. I graduated in uh, Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But when I, when I was in school, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to shoot in a short documentary to record the real things um, in future this present life will be a history thing so yeah so I went there I interviewed so you went there when it was right after the fires what time period of it did you go there to to shoot the footage yeah so after half year after the fire ruin everything so the fire as i know it happened in november uh 2018 so mm -hmm. i went there in 2019 spring okay. yeah yeah i drive around the back in the back back in the forest like uh 12 hours from san francisco downtown to there yeah it's northern than than napa valley how did the town look when you got there in the spring what was it like that was really shocked me. Um, one building is still there. The next one is ruined, just so the basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're like um, almost 90% of uh, houses that they're just uh, ruined. They just, uh, wow. and I also see many uh, like a uh, melt pipe, pipe, uh, pipeline, you know, the open the faucet. Yep. So the pipe that they yep. all made by plastic they melt wow so yeah the water so even the faucet may be on there but doesn't mean the water is safe so they use a silk or something to seal to let people to pay attention yeah that's a really sad thing wow yeah. what what prompted you to want to do this to shoot this footage to go down there what was kind of the idea behind it or inspiration for you yeah, so first thing is about, uh, I have a strong interest in about making documentary. I feel, you know, um, I mean, uh, so I, I'm a, a filmmaker, so doing films about uh, love, sexual things. I mean, this is a really human being things, but uh, yeah. 
compare with that, I feel if we could record something and uh, to to think about it, about the realistic things, that will be like a meaningful thing. Yeah, so I, I, I really want to do more documentaries. And uh, yeah, so this is the first reason. The second reason is uh, I I don't understand why this has happened. I feel there are so many like uh, so many ways that uh, this is just a, it shouldn't happen. Yeah. But it happened. Yeah. So why it happened? Is it because local governments didn't take the responsibility or the facilities uh, that was too old? Um, yes, actually, it was. Yeah. As I saw mm. the cables out there, you know, just the very like woody uh, materials stake there, cables stake there. So it's uh, already 21 centuries. So all the things, the facilities are very old. Yeah. I just think it, it shouldn't be like this. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah. you, you just discovered that through like being there, right? And noticing things like that, uh, that you capture on camera, right? That things were kind of outdated um, and that probably contributed to, to every the destruction, right? That happened through the fire. Right. So I just said, uh, you know, I want to uh, uh, through my camera to show the public and so that people could uh, focus on the location there and the people from all aware from the other places, they could help them because they need help. So yeah. when I was living in uh, San Francisco, the north side, uh, usually every summer we were nervous <laughs> because the sky is like a wholly yellow. It's totally mm -hmm. like yellow. It's like a, there's no tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. the fire I know what so you mean. Big. Yeah, the fire was no, like, a, what should we do? So why this happened? And uh, how about other people who who are living around the uh, the forest, near the nature? Are they okay? You just very, like, uh, naturally, you want to care about them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, what did you, what did you hear from the locals when you spoke to them when you were recording the footage? What did what did you learn from them? What did they tell you? Oh yeah, so uh, you know, I, I prepared a lot of things because uh, that's a big uh, um, tragedy for them. Sure. It's because they lost their house. Yeah. Um. So fortunately, uh, I have a friend. She's uh, working in a nonprofit organization. Uh, it's called uh, the Bridges, and uh, she's a Christian. Uh, so she, her organization uh, gather a lot of friends. Um, so they go there and uh, uh, they went there and help local residents there. So they told me, and also I saw the news. Um, there's so many news, the uh, local news updated every day. So people pay a lot of attention. And I think, okay, so I'm gonna interview some local people, but uh, I really do care about how they feel. Maybe they don't want to. You know, this is feeling like a peel their scar. Mm -hmm. It's a, another like a, just a hurting them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I just uh, um, I was driving the car and look around. So I found a a guy, a gentleman. He was around seventy years old. So I just did uh, like a for long distance and that uh, hi, how are you? I come here just to. Uh, I, I'm a filmmaker. I want to record everything, like how you feel, like uh, do you need any help? Or we just like a very natural uh, talk. And uh, he he's very nice. He talked a lot of things and uh, yeah, but uh, he mentioned the thing is uh, he his wife passed away a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and then the house was ruined. And uh, I asked him, do you miss everything like you, your wife or maybe leave something, stuff, things for you? And he just ignored my question. I feel it. I know that uh, maybe he didn't want to talk about that. Mm, it's too painful, he, the memory. Right. Of it. Yeah, something that uh, too heavy, too heavy. Uh, I guess he, he just uh, wants to move on and uh, look forward to, yeah, have a, have a good life, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What are you hoping to get through this documentary? You want people to pay attention to the area, help with donations? Like, what's your kind of mission and goal with this film? Oh, right now, the film is just finished, and uh, that's it. So um, I, if I have a time, 
if I have an opportunity, I definitely want to go back. But right now, another documentary I'm doing right now, so it's a uh, talking about the Fukushima radioactive pollution water. Mm. You know the thing. It, yeah, so Japan they have a nuclear factory, and uh, yeah, so after that, um, I I would just start like I I started to think about the all the seafood are safe for all human beings. So it's not only for local people, it's a you and me for like for from president to normal people, all mm -hmm. of the countries. We, you know, the circle of the water, just the, the oceans, they just are like a big circle. They could, the water just uh, um, go from Japan to the United States too. So that's a big thing. So I try to interview very uh, important people. They are professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, they are experts. They are doing nuclear things. They know about more detailed things. So right now I try to reach out them. I try to email them to get them feedback. And <laughs> yeah, sometimes- Are you, um, you going to travel to Japan to shoot some footage too or- you plan I hope to... so. Yeah, if I could. Um, but traveling sometimes, uh, even I go there, it doesn't mean I could reach out the real people there. So, I mean, finding the correct people there are very important. It's, it's very important. So if I stay here, definitely I also could do something in the United States too. Yeah. So, I mean, um, finding the correct person that uh, who want to talk to me, who want to cooperate with me, that's very important. If I can't go there, I can find a local Japanese. They could help me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those, so those, is the Paradise film completed already or are you still working yes. on it? Oh, the Paradise one is uh, already is a com completed. Okay. And, and is there anywhere people can see it or, or is when is it going to be available to the public? Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's in my YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so not many people focus on because not interest. I mean, not not very funny things like a little serious things. So yeah, yeah. Sure. but uh, yeah, that that one is okay to go to public right now. So yeah, I got yeah. some awards on that one. Um, yeah, but uh, hopefully more people could could see it, could watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell them how to access your YouTube page and, and where to look for it. You can feel free, free, feel free to share that. Sure. Sure. I will give you the link so mm -hmm. that you could put in the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That works too. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and so this is the, any other projects ahead you're working on or just right now, the focus is the one that you just spoke about. Um, with uh, the the water and Japan and that's the project you're currently Fukushima. yeah yeah, really. uh, yeah so, so I have another project okay. uh, um yeah so right now it's a uh, another one it's a uh, and short animation okay. that one is a, a sci-fi style uh around five years old the boy he traveled to another planet so the the story happened in 2035 oh, or wow. maybe 40 <laughs> 2040 Way in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so he is uh, um going sightseeing like uh, so right now we just take a plane to go to somewhere else but uh, in future i i believe definitely we could take the rocket to go to anywhere out mm -hmm. of the earth i guess so <laughs> So one day he traveled and uh, he jumped to uh, another planet and uh, he lost the, the connection with human beings. So he is adopted by an, uh, a couple, alien couple. The couple, the body, they are made by jail. So oh, wow. once the rain just the calm down, uh, if the rain has color, the body will change color. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And and how far along is that project? Uh, did you complete it? Are you still working on it? Oh, right now. So animation, whatever animation or documentary, I mean, both of these genres are, are taking a really long time. Mm -hmm. So animation has a lot of those steps. First is like a like a script. So maybe just a just a script, short film, maybe 20 minutes. Okay. It will take like um two years to wow. lock the script. 
yeah we have to find the, the the good way to you know amuse our audience but the same we will deliver a message to the audience mm -hmm. and make it a very worth people enjoy it it's also a uh, talk about uh, the environmental things yeah mm -hmm. i guess uh, once we travel a lot to the space we will pollute the space also that's right? a good point yeah we don't <laughs> think about that much but you're right <laughs> that, that's true because not nothing's there right now unless we bring things in there so very true yeah maybe i'm thinking maybe once the technology updated a lot maybe when we took a plane we could open the window throw a trash out mm -hmm. and once we travel to the space we also could throw a trash out you know right i mean there's no one to stop you there so very very interesting point i think that's something we don't think about much but that's that's well said right there so um Anywhere people can find your work or your social media that you like to share and, and see the progress of your films or um, whatever you want to share. This is the this time right now. Oh, yeah. So I have Facebook and Instagram and also uh, my personal website. And mm -hmm. yeah, I will give you everything so you could put in the okay. under the screen. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So they can they can go on the links and connect with you and find out more about these projects, right? Yes, yes, definitely. Well, looking forward to seeing the the YouTube one on Paradise. I've heard about the story, so it's very interesting to see what you've done with that and uh, what you were able to capture on location. So that's really that's really good and neat that you you went out there and checked it out. You know, because I feel like a lot of people were impacted, and it was a big national story too. So um that's that's going to be an interesting watch for sure thank you so much <laughs>